What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and Apple has released iOS 16 Developer Beta 6 to developers, and hopefully tomorrow they'll release it to public beta testers. Along with iOS 16 Beta 6, we also got iPadOS 16 Beta 6, WatchOS 9 Beta 6, TVOS 16 Beta 6, and HomePod OS 16 Beta 6. Unfortunately, we did not get macOS Ventura Beta 6. Hopefully we get that next week. And in this video, I'll be covering iOS and iPadOS 16 Beta 6 and showing you everything that is new. On my iPhone 13 right here, the update came at 426.8 megabytes, and on my iPad, it came at 301.6 megabytes. So that means that we don't have that many major features like the battery percentage we got in the last beta. Now this is related to the battery percentage right here, so if we were to turn off the battery percentage for whatever reason and turn on low power mode, we now don't have a battery percentage in low power mode. Before this was forced on, but now it's no longer forced anymore. Just to let you know, for iPhone XR and 11 and mini users, you do not have the battery percentage quite yet, and at this point, I don't think you'll be getting it at all, unfortunately. The weather app on iPadOS 16 has changed quite a bit. So this text is now a little bit smaller, and if we were to go to my location, it's bigger here, but when we close the sub menu, it's a little bit smaller. Personally, I like it if it stays the same. I'm guessing that is a bug, I do not know for sure. Both iOS and iPadOS have a B at the end of the build number, which indicates we are very close to a final release. I'm guessing about one or two more betas, and watchOS and tvOS are both have an A at the end of the build number. So that means that we could be seeing two more or even one more release, and in my opinion, this feels really smooth. Let's see if Geekbench can tell us a story. All right, so I've been running this beta for a little bit. Let me open up Geekbench and let's start the benchmark. Alright, so on iOS 16 beta 5, we got a 1732 on single core and a 4588 on the multi core. And on iOS 16 beta 6, we got a 1703 on the single core and a 4605 on the multi core. Single core doesn't really matter, it's more of the multi core, and the multi core is a little bit higher. The reason why this could be lower is because it might actually be on par with iOS 15.5. As see right here, we got a 1725 and a 4633. So that means we are getting really close to being on par with iOS 15.5. So just to let you know, Apple does not actually try to slow down performance, they're actually improving it. Now let's talk about bugs and iOS 16 beta 5. So my talking Ben app is doesn't work. It's just this that's really unresponsive. You can see how slow it is. Nothing works at all. So just letting you know if you talking Ben does not work currently, that probably needs to be an app update at this point. The portrait watch face is still broken. As you can see, it doesn't scroll or anything. I can't add it. Can't go back. So that's something I will need to report in the feedback app. I did not report it for beta 5. I probably should, to be honest. I will report that after I make this video. Summarize it up. If you use low power mode, the battery percentage is no longer forced, as you can see right there. The weather app on iPadOS had a, some few text changes. Performance just feels a lot better overall than Beta 5, and Geekbench is telling us that performance is a lot better as well. Now, should you install this on your main device? I say it's smooth enough. I would get the public beta when it comes out tomorrow, hopefully. That's pretty much all I have to say about iOS 16 Beta 6. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!